Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. When the police were here, they asked management if the guy, what, the, what his race was. So he had decomposed so much that they couldn't even tell his race. And the lady said he's Caucasian and, and the cop said, not anymore. Hey guys, we are um, at a decomposition here in Tampa, and ironically, we are still in franchise training, so we have quite a bit of help, thank God. Uh, we have this, yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss for words on this one, so this was only a four-day decomposition, but it was accelerated because the guy uh, would turn off his AC completely in the afternoon, so right after the peak of the heat of the day. He would shut it off to save money. So it looks like he passed away in the bathroom yep. and there's like an imprint of his head on the back wall near the toilet, but he blew up and popped. So everything leaked out into the kitchen and ran into the living room. Um, I don't think I've ever seen so many maggots in my life. And that's fact. saying a lot. I know for a fact I've never, there's gotta be hundreds, if not at least a thousand. The smell, you can smell it from at least four parking spaces away. This is behind us here. And we're in kind of a, a single story apartment community. So he does share a wall with neighbors. And the smell is so bad, you would think it would make us skinny, but it doesn't. No. I really am hungry right now. I want a sandwich. <laughs> I am legit hungry. I'm legit and hungry parched. too. We've got a ton of demo to do, right? The entire bathroom is gonna have to be demoed out. Literally the shower, uh, shower floor the wall, the sill plate, the toilet needs to come up so we can get the tile out. Shower's gotta go, all the tile, the walls in the bathroom, cause it's wicked up. Um, he popped and it's all over the wall. It's, you know, a good time for a Friday night, really. Yeah. Most people like, like going out, going to dinner. We just, this, we, this is our fun. Hey Jason, I'm from the Indianapolis area. Awesome. I'm a franchise owner. So, what did you think when you first walked into this scene? Like, what were your first thoughts? Uh, first thing that I noticed is like when I got to the scene was the overpowering so smell. It, it just is like a just massive decay there. Mm -hmm. So it's just the decomp of it was just incredible smell, very overpowering. Why don't we walk that way first and then come back out here? So she said, don't, don't like, like back and forth. You want to try to scoop it? Sorry, it ain't doing much, but we'll clean it. Oh, wait, are you trying to refine it? I did, in that case. I'm trying to find the valuables so we can demo. Hmm. Okay, is this great? Give this back to his sister. It might be meaningful. It looks nice. I don't know if it's real. Do it, do it. Is that a bio? Yeah. Okay. Is that some Part A, usually. Let it marinate on it, leave part A. Okay. And then I'm going to show you the current. So, what you'd want to do is you guys will carry it out to the gopher, and the gopher is responsible for cutting the feet. So, gopher, you've got a table with bio on the feet. Uh -huh. You carry it out, and you're going to lop off the feet. Christian from the Winter Park, Winter Garden location. I'm playing the role of a gopher. So, anything uh, bio I'm taking out, anything they need, I'm bringing back to them. Uh, right now, I'm just cutting off the bio that was on the bottom of these legs. Uh, the rest is solid waste. So that's what, just making sure all the bio goes in the proper bins.
I'm Melanie. I'm uh, from Indianapolis, and I'm right. here helping on a bio cleanup right now um, for our training. Mm. Doing them down there, but they are going at something. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be opening yeah. a franchise up in Indianapolis too, right? Yeah, yeah. First, first thing of the year, that's what we're doing. Starting off with bang. Oh, well, they're going towards the bio. How do you feel right now? I've had my first gag moment. Oh. <laughs> I'm crying through the wall. Oh. 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 Finish by 2 p.m. Beers on me. Oh, absolutely. Knees to chest.
Let's do it. That's four hours. That's more than enough time. That's a cute little You must have a little mic sitting there still. That is adorable. So basically what I'm doing right now is like I'm creating the marks. It's like for us to put the chalk line on so we can get the 24 inch you know, flood cuts on. Uh, we can remove all the pieces of drywall so we can really get behind it and everything to make sure that we get all the blood and all the pathogens out of there. Hydration break, as you can see, uh, I'm a pretty sweaty guy. Well, that's Whoa. not water. <laughs> screw in here? No. Because it's not moving. It's got to be screwed, see? Yeah, look. Yeah. You got to like pull it, pull it and twist it. All right, good. So that way you put pressure on the screw. Yeah. I don't know where I didn't see the head. The head was on the other side. I come bearing gifts, guys. <laughs> This is the ozone machine. This is our miracle worker that uh, takes away all the ozone after we're completely done with the job. So it's so powerful, you can't have people, pets, or plants inside. So we're gonna put this in at the end of today when we're done. 
and uh, it's going to do the magic. But I'm going to take it apart because I'm going to do a little bit of surgery on it. Smarter, not harder, right? This is like the best way to clean a large area and wall, uh, as opposed to like cleaning it with your hand. So I just take kind of our thick towels here, I put it on a Swiffer, I put disinfectant on it, and then I just literally wash everything and it smells great already. Uh, We're at the end here of day two and we're finally finished. Let me show you everything we did. So we've got our ozone machine set up here. We're getting ready to turn that on for a couple days to really take care of this odor. But as you can see, there's no more flies. Everything has been wiped down and sanitized. And here's the end product of the bathroom. So overall, this was a really, really difficult job uh, for several reasons. One, the smell was absolutely horrendous, so thank God for respirators, right? Yeah. And uh, this was perfect training for, for franchisees, and it was very hot, and we're in very small quarters. I don't think this apartment is more than 600 square feet, so uh, super glad to be done with it, and uh, hopefully another person will move in and not know what happened before. Uh, they moved in so it'd yep. be great right yep to the next one thanks for watching guys don't forget to like share subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode for more information visit any of our locations